Hello everyone, welcome to Zyner Need UG channel. As we all know, the MCC counseling brochure has been released and there are some changes in this year's brochure compared to the last year. So we'll look at all the changes that have happened. Okay, so let's get started with the brochure. So this is the front page and the changes start from the eighth page. So this is the first change in the prospectors. So here you can see that in supersession to previous counseling scheme, it has been decided by the competent authority that upgradation will be allowed up to round 3, which was earlier known as mop-up round. Accordingly, NMC will approach the Honorable Supreme Court for approval in this matter. So earlier we know that upgradation was possible only from round 1 to round 2. Okay, so upgradation was not possible from round 2 to round 3. But now they are, they are bringing about a change. They are saying that upgradation will be also possible from round 2 to round 3. Okay, and they are saying that the NMC will approach the Supreme Court for approval in this matter. Okay, so this is something that NMC is going to implement and they have given the rule here, but uh, the final verdict from the Supreme Court has not yet come up. Okay, and candidates are advised to take calculated decision in continuing the third round as they will not be permitted to resign from the third round. So, in the third round, if you join a seat, you won't be able to resign. That's what they're saying. Earlier, this rule was applicable for the second round. Now, they have changed it to the third round. So, here there is one more change. Um, OC cardholders will now be eligible to the rights which were provided to them earlier to the impact notification dated 4 3 -21. They'll be treated on par with Indian citizens and they will be eligible for UR general category seats as well as NRA seats. So earlier there was a lot of confusion about the OC candidates, what seats they will be eligible for and even a few state counselling notifications had said that they won't be eligible for the uh, general seats. Okay, So MCC has announced this saying that the OCA cardholders will be eligible uh, for general category seats and also for NRA seats. Okay, So they will be treated just like Indian citizens but there is no category reservation for them, they will be able to take the general category seats as well as the NRA seats. So we will go to the next change. So here in deemed university, there is a, there is a change. So earlier what happened in deemed university was the fourth round was conducted offline. So to join the deemed university, you had to go to the directly to the deemed university and you had to join the college. But now the fourth round, the stay round is also being conducted online and the deemed uh, seats will be allotted through the online process. So this is a recent change, it happened only this year. So there is also uh, changes in regarding to the round wise rules. Now, now let's take a look at the round 1, what changes are there. So in round 1, which is this is for All India Quota, Central Institutes and also for Ames, Dipmer, Deemed Institutes. Uh, there is a change here, they, they, uh, the point number E, uploading of essential certificates after declaration of result. So this point was not there in the last year. So here they are saying that after the round 1 allotment result, uh, the candidates will have to upload the documents, the, all the documents that are required, they will have to upload the documents into the portal. Uh, only after that they will be able to join the uh, seat. And there is a physical reporting is there in round 1, this is, there is no change, this is just like last year. Now let's go to round 2, let's see what changes are there. So in round 2 also, point F, you need to upload the essential uh, certificates after the declaration of result. So in round 2 also, after the allotments are released, you need to upload this uh, documents that are required. If candidates are upgraded in round 2, the candidate must take the relieving order from round 1 seat and join in round 2 seat. So we already know this, the candidates will be able to um, upgrade from round 1 seat to, uh, to round 2 seat. Okay? So in case the candidate has been upgraded in round 2, they have to take the relieving order from the round 1 seat. So they have to uh, relieve themselves from the round 1 seat and then they have to join in the round 2 seat. Uh, candidates allotted seats in round 2 but they, they do not report or join the allotted institute shall for, forfeit their security deposit. So candidates who have um, been allotted a seat or they have joined the seat. Okay, So these candidates 
if they resign the seat or they do not join the seat, then these candidates uh, security deposit will be forfeited. This is for round two. And in round two, they have added one more note here. Uh, however, if an upgraded candidate does not want the round one seat, he will avail exit with forfeiture within two days of round two result announcement. Okay. So, in round two, uh, round two, if a candidate is upgraded a seat, that's what they say. Okay. So, from round one to round two, if a candidate is upgrading the seat and there is no uh, upgradation, that means they are retaining the round one seat, then the candidate will be able to uh, withdraw that withdraw from that round one seat, uh, but it has to be done within two days and there will also be four feature of the security deposit. Now let's go to round three. So in round three, so this is a big change here. So let's look at uh, who all will be um, eligible for round three. So in round three, there is fresh registration for candidates who have not registered in round one or round two. So if you are a candidate who is not registered in round one or round two, then with payment of fee, you will be able to re register in the round three. Then uh, if you are a candidate who has resigned the seat in round two, or if you are not, report, not reported in round one or round two, then you can join in round three and you will be able to fill fresh choices. Uploading of essential certificates after declaration of result. Okay, So this is just like uh, round one and round two. In mop-up round also, after the allotments, candidates will have to um, upload the certificates that are required. In case a candidate is upgraded, the candidate must take the relieving order from round two seat and join the round three seat. So this is just like the round one to uh, round one to round two upgradation. If you are upgrading from round two to round three, then you have to take the relieving letter from round two seat and you have to join in the round three seat. Once joined, candidate cannot upgrade or resign from the seat. So they are saying that if you join the seat in round three, the, you will not be able to upgrade from round three or you won't be able to resign the seat. So the seat that you join in round three will be your final seat. If allotted a seat, the candidate cannot upgrade or resign. So this is, there is a little bit of confusion here. Uh, they are saying that if a candidate is allotted a seat, the candidate cannot upgrade or resign. But on the same line, they are also saying that if any candidate does not join the round three seat, then they will have to uh, exit with the four feature of fees and elimination. Uh, that means they cannot participate in the further round. Okay. So, in the round three, if you are allotted a seat and you do not join the seat, then your fees will be forfeited. That is one thing. And you won't be, you won't be able to join for the further rounds. That is also another thing. So, next is the final stay vacancy round. So, the, uh, the final stay vacancy round is for all India quota deemed, uh, deemed seats, central seats and all the seats. Okay. So, this is conducted online. So, in uh, stay vacancy round, uh, fresh registrations have to be done compulsorily. Okay, so they they haven't given any uh, they haven't given any point saying that uh, if you are not allotted a seat in round three, then uh, then the stay uh, stay round you don't have to do it. So they are saying that fresh registrations have to be done for the stay round. Data will be shared with center and states regarding round three, and if any candidate has a, has a name in the list of candidate uh, allotted candidates in either center or state then such candidates will be eliminated from the all india stay vacancy round so earlier in the last year this round this rule was applicable for the second round so all the candidates who had uh, joined either in the cent uh, central counseling or state counseling of round 2 will not be eligible for the mop up round so this same rule is now being carried forward to the mop up round so they are saying that if a candidate has joined in um, round three or they have uh, they have joined in the round three of the state, then they will not be eligible uh, for the stay round. Okay, but a lot of states have already released the notifications 
uh, without this rule okay so there might be uh, there might be notification that will come out from the states uh, regarding this change in rule because if if uh, mcc is going to if nmc is going to approach the supreme court to make this change then all the states will also have to adapt to this new rule and in the stay round there is also one last change if a candidate is allotted a seat in the stay round uh, he has to join the allotted seat or college else uh, he or she shall be debarred from the need counseling of mcc for subsequent two years along with four feature of fees so this four feature of fees is the same as last year okay so if you don't uh, join the allotted seat in the stay round there will be four feature of fees okay but this debarment is a new clause that has been introduced this year so if a candidate is allotted a seat in the stay round but they do not join uh, join the seat then they will be debarred from the need counseling uh, for mcc for two years okay so this is this is a change from last year so this concludes all the changes that we have seen uh, seen today in this uh, prospectors so if you have any queries regarding this please drop a comment below we will answer all your queries and we will see you in our future videos bye